Hey, it's Lauren from Radio World here. I'm going to talk to you today about a new product we have in the store from FLIR. It's called the FLIR One, and it's a thermal imaging camera that will attach to it just about any smartphone or tablet. So we'll take a look at what's inside the box and show you a little bit about the product. Okay, so we'll pop open the box. I'll show you what's inside here. In this case, we're using the Apple version. So we have the FLIR One camera with the thermal imaging and traditional sensor on it there. This does have the lightning connector so it is reversible. You get a uh, nice case for it to protect it when it's not in use. Charge cable which is a micro USB and then a lanyard which will attach onto your, um, your case here. Okay so to set this up it's pretty simple. All we're going to do is go ahead and plug the uh, clear one in. Now as I say it is reversible so with it like this you're going to be filming yourself so you're going to probably want to have it turned away from you like that. Okay, so we've gone to the App Store, or if you're using Android, you go to Google Play, download the FLIR One app, and uh, once it's plugged in, you'll see there just to turn the uh, unit itself on, which you'll find the button located right on the side here. Okay, so now that it's turned on, we're ready for use. Okay, so as you can see there, we have one of our sales reps behind a computer. So the um, yellow uh, heat signature is one of the highest temperatures. If you look straight above his head on the ceiling, you'll actually see a, a cold air duct coming in with our air conditioning on, and the fluorescent lights have the, uh, the warmer heat signature to them. Okay, so here's another example taking a look at some electronics that are hot. We've got some CB radios along the bottom row of our display. The one on the far right and then the uh, fourth one in from the right, you can see definitely a lot hotter than the other ones. So one cool feature on the app is the ability to record your images. You can record them in video, you can swipe across, do photo, do a panoramic photo, and then do time lapse as well. Okay, and one other tip I can give you, when the camera's on the bottom, it's a lot harder to use than when the camera's up on the top. So run it that way and you'll have a lot greater success with it. So one of the features on this app is the ability to allow you to see what temperature the different uh, colors are. And as you can see, as I move that around in the center there, move to colder items, temperature drops. When I come back to the computer, right where the fan is, you know, we're over 100 degrees. You can change that between Fahrenheit and Celsius as well. So we also have the ability up here to change the color palette. And it gives you a nice preview when you're picking your palette. So you can see with these different palettes, hot will be one uh, color and then cold, you know, another shade. So it just all depends on what's going to be easiest for you to uh, recognize. My testing, I found that this one works the best. So the FLIR One has its own internal battery, so you don't have to worry about it drawing your phone battery. It won't charge through your phone, but it does have the micro USB port on this side where you can charge it. The other side, we have the power switch. There's a lightning connector on the top, as we've mentioned, and then you also have on the Android version a micro USB connection. On the front of it, we have a thermal imaging and a, just a traditional camera. What will happen is it will merge the two images to give you a greater definition as well as the thermal imaging properties. So as you can see, there's going to be a whole bunch of different uses that just about everybody could find for this product. It's a really cool gadget to have, but it can also be used you know, in, uh, in a lot of trades and uh, just out for fun, hunting, out in the woods, anything like that. So take a look at it. It's available uh, for purchase in the store or on our website. There's one for Android and one for iOS. So visit RadioWorld.ca for more information.